Ladies and gentlemen, please excuse this guy. He's a little shy because he's not so familiar with humans. There's more tough news for all of the robots out there who don't like mankind. There are a lot more humans on the way. By 2025, just 10 years from now, the world's automotive market will have grown by about 30% to sales of almost 100 million passenger cars per year. In other words, mankind and the auto business will remain growing species. But here's our proposal. We at Mercedes are going to show you an innovation tonight that actually gives you more time and more space. There will be exclusive cocoons on wheels that enable people to do exactly what they want or need to do. Autonomous driving S-Class on a 60-mile route. After an intensive training period, the autonomous S-Class found its way while reacting appropriately to everything else in traffic the cars, trucks, bicycles, pedestrians and so on. And it did this without any glitches, breakdowns or accidents, without the safety driver's intervention and without getting a ticket or even the finger. <laughs> While the development of the pure technology of self-driving cars continues to move ahead, there are still a great number of open questions to address. For example, whom are we going to hold responsible in the unlikely event that an autonomous driving car crashes? Or how should the car decide on ethic aspects if an accident is really unavoidable? When the only choice is a collision with a small car or a large truck, driving into a ditch or into a wall, or risk sideswiping the mother with the stroller or the 80-year-old grandpa. These are only some areas in need of discussions and solutions. So, the time is right to think of the car, about the car of the future. At Mercedes-Benz, we did rethink the car from scratch. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Mercedes-Benz vision of the car of the future. This is our concept car, F015 Luxury in Motion. Two words here, clean and clear. As you can see, we move the big wheels to the very edges of the car. This is what we call the carriage concept. You're already familiar with that shape. I admit, we first had this idea back in 1893 with the Benz Motorwagen. It builds on the concept of a third place, in addition to home and office, a place where we will actively want to and enjoy hanging out. Other spaces of our lives have gone through big change before. Just think, for example, about how bathroom layouts have transformed. They've gone from a room with a very specific purpose to a private space in which you want to spend time and relax in. As a next step in this progression, we see cars widening their functionality to be a third place to relax, work, play. Along the way, we are also revitalizing a feature that smart horses offered back in the days before cars. Think about a long day at the office, sitting through one meeting after the other. Back in the day, the smart horse was able to smell the barn and take its owner home safely and autonomously. So will FO15. Autonomous cars will need to find different ways to actively communicate with the outside world. FO15 has a suggestion here as well. Let's see this. The LED lights follow the movement and thereby indicate, all right, all right I can see you. In addition, the back of the car alerts the upcoming traffic that there's a person ahead. This feature alone will increase road safety. This car is not only able to determine when it's safe to cross the road, it can even display a crosswalk on the street so people of any age get the look and feel that is familiar. 
It also actively tells you when it is safe to start walking across. And society gets more safety on the road, even when the car is in a parked position. Let's have a look at that interior now. Again, it's clean and clear, digital and real-world plant without boundaries. Windows can be used as screens. The car also features a steering wheel, which again represents the driver's freedom of choice to drive or chill while on the go. Thank you very much and have fun at CES.